Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how I pack cards to trade or for sale. Today I'll be packing this tail We Are Superhuman circle card for trade. I personally like to triple sleeve my cards, mostly because I am new to trading, but because it has been raining where I live recently. So this is an ultra pro small sleeve, and then a penny sleeve, and then I also use a dragon shield clear non glare matte sleeve on the outside and I pop that all into an ultra pro 3x4 inch top loader. So I like to alternate which side I sleeve tail. Here I am just trying to figure out which way I should sleeve them first. And so I'll sleeve them upside down in the ultra pro sleeve and then right side up in the penny sleeve and then wrong side into the dragon shield and then right side up into the top loader and that way hopefully he is well protected. So that sleeving process does trap air so here I am just pressing out the excess air so that way it is thin enough to fit into the top loader. Alright here I am just grabbing some washi tape. I use this to seal my sleeves so that way tail is extra protected but also to decorate it. So I like to fold down one side of the tape just to help whoever I'm training with or whoever I'm selling to to peel it up easier because I have bought or traded with people who haven't done that with photo cards and I'm constantly so worried about damaging the card. So here's my personal solution just to create an easy kind of lift tab to make it a little bit easier. Doesn't hurt that this washi tape is cute though. Here with this second washi tape I'm just creating a little easy pull tab to make it easier for the person I'm trading with to pull tail out of the top loader because it is hard if there's not a pull tab. Sometimes I do find that if people don't make that little tab on the end, it does make it harder to access the photo card and I am really worried about damaging a photo card. So that's why I do that. And so I'm just going to pop tail into a top loader there. And so it is a little thicker than most sleeves because I am using three. So I just widen the top loader. Here I am just showing you how I would use the pull tab. And that way it does make it easier for the person I'm trading with to take tail out safely. So here I am just popping on a little bit of washi tape onto the open end of the top loader to make sure that tail doesn't fall out of the top loader. Once again, folding down one end of the washi tape to make it easier to remove. So this is how I typically package my trades or my sales, regardless of whether it's in a greeting card or in a cardboard sandwich. Today I'm going to be showing you how I package that into a greeting card. All three sleeves fit perfectly inside the top loader, which hopefully means that tail won't experience any sort of damage whilst on his way to the person I'm trading with. So here's a close up of how I package tail inside the top loader. That's how I package all my cards to trade or to sell regardless of how I'm sending it out. Here is everything I use in a greeting card method. Just a plain greeting card with a matching envelope. I like to reuse cards so I won't write on the card itself. There's the tail top loader and a sticky note and some washi tape. Unfortunately, I have found it is pretty uncommon to write a note or even your name on any kind of note when you're selling or trading within the Australian K-pop community, which is kind of sad given that it is difficult to figure out who you bought from and where you bought from. So I like to write my name as well as my handle, depending on what platform I traded with them on, onto a little note. That way it's easier for the recipient to know who that card is from and that way it saves both of us a ton of stress. I personally like to write my notes on a sticky note so that way the person I'm trading with can reuse the card. 
So I'll just pop that one on the left side and I'll pop tail on the right side. Once again, just folding down one side of the tape to make it easier for the recipient to take him out. I'm just going to tape tail down on all four sides to make sure he's properly secure and he won't fall out of the greeting card. <laughs> well, we're fine. I do normally like to include stickers as freebies in my trades and sales. Unfortunately, I buy from a local business and their stickers are currently still in transit to me, which means that for this trade, I unfortunately don't have any freebies. Ozpost, which is the delivery service that most Australians use, tends to hoard all of my letters and all my mail and then deliver them all at once. I have five years old. I have been filming myself opening up these packages and letters that I've been receiving over the past couple of weeks to hopefully upload a collective mail haul by the end of the month, which should be exciting. Here I am just making sure that tail doesn't move. I'm just gonna shake him. <laughs> this seems a bit stupid in hindsight, but I just wanted to make sure that he was properly stuck on. So here's the envelope that will fit that card. I'm just grabbing a domestic stamp. So I'm just going to pop him in. So I'll write the address of the recipient on the front as well as my own on the back once I finish filming this clip, just so I don't accidentally reveal their address or anything like that. And that's how I package my trades and my sales for photo cards by using the greeting card method. Thanks for watching <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.